All right, guys, listen, man, we got to talk, dude. I got to vent with y'all, my family in Christ. I got to vent with y'all, and, and I'm going to sound like a broken record. I, ju I just know it. This is not going to be the video that gets the clicks. Trust me when I say this, but, like, I got to just vent, man. This is why I be really not liking the community genre of CHH, Christian Hip Hop, man. I don't know what it is, but it amazes me that we're in 2023. We've seen a lot of Christian art making happen. It, we have some history to it now. We have variety, more variety than there's ever been. We have history. We've seen the quarrels that Christians have amongst each other. We've seen the constructive criticisms that many have passed down in the art making space in terms of what, how we can maximize bringing glory to God, how we can maximize being better art makers, how we can maximize being uh, equipped while being in the space so that our lives on the inside uh, look like the lives we portray in the music. And it just blows my mind uh, that this is just my heart, guys. I don't know who agrees with this. And this is not going to be the video that I clip and put on Instagram. This isn't popular. And I don't even want to come off a of tacky. This is venting on my channel because somebody's got to say it. Somebody's got to speak out on it. And, and it's nuanced, but I'm just speaking broad today. We're broad brushing today. But it amazes me, man. In 2023, Christians are still excited about glorifying themselves in their music. And it's crazy. It used to be subtle. Like you would crack a couple lines here and then sprinkle a bunch of Jesus bars on top of it. Or boast in Christ, but almost come off with a type of swag that says, well, look at me and how I boast about Christ. But now dudes are just doing it right in front of you. When I look at Rapzilla today, and listen, there are so many amazing Christians making amazing art on Rapzilla. But when I look at a Rapzilla playlist, or most of these platforms... It sucks. I wish I could name more with Rapzilla. It looks like I'm just attacking Rapzilla, but there just aren't other Rapzillas around that are of the same size. So I could just wrap them all up into Rapzilla. But when I look at the space and I look at a Rapzilla playlist and I listen to the music on there, the first thing I'm thinking is, who's curating this, man? Who's curating this content? And guys, hear me when I say... You do not have to make music explicitly talking about the gospel or glorifying Jesus Christ. You can make music about a flute. You can make music about love. You can make music about words and how cool they are. You can make music with no words. And there ain't nothing wrong with that. But these are people who are coming off as if they are making C-H-H, Christian Hip Hop, or something very close to it. And it's incredible how I will go down the Rapzilla playlist and song after song after song after song, I have to struggle to find a song that isn't 90% self-boasting and self, like, look at me, I'm rapping for this, I'm doing this, I'm doing the this, I'm looking like that, and blah, 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 blah. Oh, and by the way, Jesus is at the top. It's like... It's so frustrating, man. And this is why I do what I do, man. When people say, yo, Conscience, like, I wish you would rap more. Or Conscience, I wish you would sing more and do Strictly Worship. I'm all over the place. I'm thinking about the kid. Like, there, I have. when I was younger, I had tons of aspirations on displaying excellent art in the music. And I still do. But, like... What I've been trying to do ever since I got in the game is provide different. 
be honest with my testimony, seek God wholeheartedly, share my testimony with people, be transparent and do that excellently for God's glory, not my own. And also equip the body, equip people coming behind me because hip hop's such a new thing. This is what it means to be a devout follower of Jesus Christ, to put Jesus above everything, to do everything excellently for him, but how to not change up, how to not be living something you're not, how to not be fake with it, how to be authentic from start to finish. And it's all glory to God, all credit to God for doing it, but that was my heart's intent. And as I had that intent, I, I think about what's missing. You know, I look and say, there aren't enough God glorifying, smacking albums for kids that can compete with the modern contemporary stuff that we hear. Okay, let's put out a kid's album. Oh, worship music all sounds the same genre wise. It needs a different sound. It needs to, we need to do different there and, and show people not all worship music has to be an acoustic guitar and Hillsong in the background, a choir. So I came out and did the worship stuff. Oh, not all stuff has to be typical and cliche of what you'd hear on the radio. Okay, we can do something dark. We could talk about how sin is deep or we can do something overly happy. This is what joy in the Lord looks like and it doesn't have to be heard over worship. It can be heard over hardcore rap. Um, I'm just looking for the holes. Like what's missing? What can we do different? How can we show something different that's still authentic and God glorifying to show people just start breaking down the walls? So, and, and, and also I'm trying to show the kids, you don't have to fit into any cliche that's out there in the hip hop culture, even in the Christian hip hop culture, you can do so much more with the craft than what we're seeing now on the radio and on Rapzilla playlists and stuff like that. Just showcase more and more and different. And it's like Jesus Christ, the body of Christ is like a diamond. There's a bunch of facets on it. Show as many facets as possible for God's glory. Not for self-exaltation, not for gain, not for a career, just, just to, for his sake, like unto God, unto God's people to show this is what can be done. God's doing other things in people's lives that don't all look like this, but we're all together and we're in unity, but don't forget other stuff's going on. And it's just like, I made a song remixing Logic's Flexecution, um, and, uh, I was talking about this and hinting at this a long time ago that man, like self exaltation is like almost weaved into hip hop's fabric in history because so many people have rapped braggadociously and, and that has crept into CHH because a lot of people grew up on secular hip hop. And so they never heard it a different way. Sec, uh, self exaltation just comes with the envelope. And now if you're a Christian, somehow you can just be a little lighter with it or just say more Jesus oriented bars and somehow it comes off as Christian. It's like, yo, this is mostly just a self exaltation with a sprinkle of Jesus. You're making me even question like, what's the temperature really like with your walk with Christ? Cause you, you make a heck of an attempt to, to like, try and sell me something Christian, but have nothing to do with it. It's just secular hip hop with a twist. And it just burdens me, man, because there's so many other things we can talk about. Even take Jesus out of it, just create creatively. There's so many other things to talk about than the self boast. So many topics. And I've, sh I've been in the game for 20 years showcasing that. And guys, this is not about me up uh, boasting in myself. Please do not hear that, man. I, I could point to several other examples of other people doing it and praise God that they exist because that really encouraged me in my walk in a time where I felt like ain't nobody was out there but me trying to be authentic with it. And God quickly showed me he, he was getting a narrow few in many places around the world that were feeling the exact way I was feeling about it. But man, we got to do better, bro. We got to just do better. We got to get more creative with our song making. We got to take risks and take chances. We got to be authentic with our testimony. We got to stop making music that we think people want to hear and music that God's really putting on our heart and take risks. We got to stop pancaking and making the same thing. Not everybody's got to have the same intent with this craft, but it seems like everybody has the exact same intent. 
And let me just say this, man, I've been thoroughly involved in the community. I mix and master CHH probably two to 300 to even 400 sometimes records per year in the community. I work with tons of different artists. I, I, I'm an art maker myself in the community and I take and I know people in places like Rapzilla and stuff like that. And that's why I'm saying like there are authentic people who love Jesus and want to maximize God's glory in the space that are even a part of Rapzilla. So this isn't a direct hit. It's just a place where you can observe a lot of music and see what the climate is with a lot of these artists. And um, yeah, man, we just got to do better, bro. We got to bring more creativity to the space. We got to stop and we got to kill this self-exaltation, bro. We really do. We really got to stop just boasting in self and stop being so swagged out in content specific with saying like, yo, look at me and I'm doing this and I'm flipping the script and the da -da -da -da. like nobody cares. But you know what's crazy? In the same token that I say that, people must care because these people have thousands and hundreds of thousands of monthly listeners that are Christians. There are Christians out there eating up this self-exaltation to the point where it makes me sick. I listen to some of the music and I go, wow, like some people really feast on this and think this is a good spiritual diet for their own spiritual walk with Christ. And it's not distracting and deviating. Like, it's just crazy, bro. Please, I can't be alone on this. I can't be alone on this, but I'm so sick and tired of listening to these playlists. And there's excellent sounding sonics in this music, guys. The music itself is not bad. Content wise though, gosh, it's so bad. It's horrendous. It's lackluster. It's not creative. Shout out to my creative MCs and singers and dancers out there who really care about maximizing God's glory. And you may be explicit or non-explicit in that, but when I look at the person outside of the craft and I look at the craft, I can see God there. I can see, wow, that person loves God. And he cares about God's name and he cares about God's glory or she, she really cares. She, she has no interest in a boast of self or a subliminal boast in self. I'm just so sick of it in the space. I'm tired of it, man. This is why people say Christian rap is corny because it sounds like the world, but cornier and it's, and it can come off fake and it's outdated and it's disingenuine or it's only saying one side of the coin and it's narrow and it's lacking creativity it, it i'm praying about this guys i'm really praying about about it because I'm, I'm about to be 35 i'm about to be in and out this this space i'm gonna be mentoring or something like but I just look at it and I would imagine that at my age, being in this space for so long, like we would just be in a new space with it now. Like, and we are, you know, I'm, I'm not going to hate all the way, man. There are guys who I hear and I'm really inspired and I go, wow, what a man or woman of God. They're really pushing the envelope. But I'm shocked that it's like, I feel like I can count on my hand how many people there are that are doing that. And it's a gem. And I reach out to them and I say, yo, keep going, man. Keep anything you need. I got you because I want God to make much of that. And it's not the sound. It's not the genre. It's the heart behind it done excellently as well. <sighs> I'm so passionate about this because I care about God so much. And it's like... <sighs> Jesus Christ is so dope to me, man. My testimony is so dope to me for what God's done in, in my life. Why are we not just striving to like maximize that testimony, bro? Like we're still so entranced in hearing people just boast with a little bit of Jesus gift wrap over it. Am I alone here, guys? Talk to me, man. Am I just bitter? Am, am I wallin'? I mean, I'm really out here. 
People can testify to this. I'm really listening to all these playlists. I'm really turning over every rock to see what's out there. And there has been a few, uh, you know, a few people who've really impressed me that don't make anything like what I make and are just showing another facet of the diamond. And it's amazing. And it's praise God. And I love it. But man, I wish it's so disproportionate to the the majority of the genre that gets away with just just straight it's nothing else to call it just straight look at me rap with some jesus wrapping paper on it a little bit cleaned up and it's just ridiculous man it, it's it's a letdown a huge letdown to the space and i know god's gonna do what he wants to do man god's sovereign he's doing amazing things and i've seen some incredible people rise to the top in this space who absolutely deserve it and who i love what god's doing in their testimony but man, it's so disproportionate right now. It's crazy. Let me know in the comments how y'all feel about this. I'm done listening to myself talk. And my prayer is that I would be walking the walk that I'm describing. You know, if anyone in my circle doesn't feel that way, please holler at me. But man, we, we just got to do better, guys. We got to do better.